What is it about Ofsted that makes it so special? Well, outstanding science, great people, passion for what we do, and a clear market need for it. Is that uh, brief enough? What country best facilitates starting a tech company? Well, that's quite a difficult question. The geographic distribution of uh, technology pioneers shows that no one country has a monopoly on successful entrepreneurial technology companies. However, I think it also shows that the, the US still leads the way in this regard. So, for example, uh, 23 of this year's 39 technology pioneers come from the US. What do you need to start a, a new technology company? Well, you need a good idea, uh, someone with a vision, energy and determination to take this idea forwards. These, these sorts of things are available in many countries. But some countries have a more entrepreneurial culture than others, better backing with uh, more sophisticated, experienced investors, educated workforce, good intellectual property protection, and conducive tax and financial uh, systems. In these respects, I think I would say that the US still has the edge over other countries. But the UK, where we're based, has its advantages too. And we're also looking, Optitech is looking to set up uh, research partnerships in other countries. And no one country has a monopoly on talent. So I think you know, all countries have their, have their advantages and disadvantages, but right at the moment, the, the United States still uh, leads the way. What makes an innovator? Well, the challenge is to transform a good idea or invention into commercial reality. Several key qualities are required. Firstly, vision, the ability to see what is or is not possible more clearly than others. Secondly, drive and persistence, the willingness to overcome the many difficulties that will inevitably present themselves. Thirdly, adaptability and flexibility, Many skills are required to bring an innovation through to reality, and the path will inevitably take many unforeseen twists and turns. And finally, inspiration, the ability to motivate others to the same vision. Both the internal team and external parties, such as investors, commentators, or customers, need to be motivated and inspired to share the dream, and to see as possible something that they previously thought impossible. How does Oxitec contribute to improving the state of the world? Well. Pest insects cause great suffering and poverty by destroying crops and spreading diseases of humans, livestock, and, and plants. And we need, the world needs, selective, non-toxic methods to control specific insect pests without damaging the broader environment. Oxitec is dedicated to developing such environmentally friendly methods using genetics rather than toxic chemicals. We target major unmet needs in agriculture and public health. Farmers spend $8 billion a year on chemical insecticides, and uh, governments and consumers spend another $9 billion on chemical uh, interventions for mosquito control. And despite this heavy use, insects continue to damage the yield and quality of food and to spread diseases such as malaria and dengue. For dengue, which is a disease particularly targeted by Oxitec, there are around 100 million new cases per year spread across many countries. There's no vaccine and there's no specific cure for this disease. The transmission of dengue is completely dependent on the one or two species of mosquito that transmit it. So if you control these mosquitoes, you, can control the, you control the disease. And this is Oxitec's approach. We are already testing our mosquito control technology in contained conditions in several countries. And we think we can start to reduce the burden of insect-borne disease in a few years in a very uh, effective and environmentally safe way. And additionally, in agriculture, very similar, Oxitec's very similar technology for agriculture will help growers produce clean, healthy food that creates wealth, particularly from exports.